problem that we face in government right now, which is big money subverting the democratic process. I haven't heard that addressed in any way between either of you. It's the most difficult problem that there is in politics. Our politics are corrupt as hell on both sides of the aisle because of big, big money buying up our Congress. They bought and paid for it, and if you didn't get that out of this health care bill, I don't know what. And that's the, uh, that's the, 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 the problem uh, is, not, is finally, and maybe something can finally be done about it, because the last year did provide the American people with something they never saw before. Usually, when a bill is discussed and all these deals are being made, it's on C-SPAN. 1% of the people say it, you know, the political junkies. But this particular debate, because it affected so many people and so many people had such high expectations for it, was on the nightly news every night. They watched it for a year. And they are appalled, not at the, just the Democrats, they are appalled at the Republican. they are appalled at the money, they are appalled at what's going on. It's one thing to know abstractly that there's corruption. It's another thing to see it every night. It's sort of like the Vietnam War. It's one thing to know, it, you know that there's a war going on. It's another thing to see on the Walter Cronkite report every night, carnage. And that's what they saw out of this carnage. You may have saw it as sausage making in the particular, in the same process that always goes on in making laws, but that isn't on view all the time to the American people. In this bill it was. And if there's a time to strike on public financing, it's as a result of what they've seen in the last year, it's now. Well, there's there's this whole lot, this whole history of corruption. Uh, probably, probably the, some people would argue the most corrupt administration in history was President Grant, the railroads. Um, but now we have certainly potential for the most corrupt of the Supreme Court decision, um, which is just disgraceful. We need to work on a constitutional amendment. Um, we need to craft some laws that can get around at least part of what the Supreme Court had to say. Uh, we need to be very careful who gets on the Supreme Court in the future, obviously. Uh, the first thing we can do, the best compromise right now would be more transparency, making it very clear where the money's coming from, who the lobbyists are working for, who they're visiting. Put that on the web um, as, as quickly as possible. Um, pressure the Ready Eagle and Channel 8 News and whatever to report that information, because it's very important. Um, and not buried in the back. Uh, we buried in the back of the paper last week or something. Tim Holden got X numbers of dollars, thousand dollar checks from executives at one of the insurance people out of Hershey or something. Um, those should be big stories. You know, where is that money coming from? The system works basically with, look, if you vote the way we want you to vote, we'll give you lots and lots of money. If you vote against the way we want you to vote, we'll give lots and lots of money to your opponent. And that is allowed by the law. Chuck, 30 seconds. I actually agree with a lot of what Bob just said, especially about the transparency. Only I don't, don't agree that the system works. I think it's broken. Um, the, um, the thing I, I would like I said to that's the way it works. Gotcha. Bob, please. I didn't agree with Please. Mm -hmm. I was putting words in my mouth. All right. Yeah. You're giving Chuck extra time because we reset mm -hmm. the clock every time Chuck yeah. out. Never mind. I'll just say that <laughs> I, I agree with Bob's comments on transparency. Mm -hmm. All right. Bob, 30 seconds. <laughs> No, I, yeah, it's a terrible system. Uh, it's, this is the way it works. And, and we can try to make some kind of reasonable compromise that even the media will have to sort of portray nicely. Uh, and maybe some of the Republicans will vote for it. But what can Democrats do about this? I'm sorry. Okay. We, we have other people that, that have questions. Back there, you 